Hello everybody, today I'm going to do just a, a real quick video on this right here. This is a 40 millimeter round, it's called the Cannon Round, made by ReloadableShells.com. I believe this is their older version of it, the new ones, just minor, uh, minor differences, make it a little more stout, it can handle a little bit more power, but honestly the new, this one can handle everything an M203 can, so, but this is basically a large um, four gauge shot shell uh, this is the wad right here these are machined out of Delrin um, there's a metal disc on the bottom so you can load uh, like flechette darts and they won't stick in it but these um, right now are kind of expensive uh, but I am I have designed them in CAD and I've tried 3d printing them and I haven't gotten it just yet I'm got, I got some rolls of nylon I need to try and see if I can get them to uh, hold up to the blast. But otherwise, this is the shell right here. There's two main parts. Uh, with most of uh, the reloadable shells, uh, they're made by a guy named Scott Pace. A uh, real good guy, real great for 40 millimeter stuff. A um, little pricey, but his stuff lasts forever, so you'll get unlimited use out of it. Um, here you can see the base which holds the powder charge. There is a plug right here um, that goes down and it holds a burst disc. You can see the copper in there. And then inside there um, it holds about I want to say 18 grains of powder. The newer version can hold up to 24 or 25 but really you only want to load about 15 to prevent um, too much recoil and damage in your launcher at all. Here's the barrel section. It's all aluminum. Um, you can see right through there. Just a big smooth bore barrel. Uh, it essentially is the barrel of the weapon when this is loaded. So you are not uh, using the rifling or the aluminum barrel of the launcher at all. Simply just screws together. Very easy. Um, you can pop that primer right out and pop a new one in. Pretty simple. And then the wad fits in there nicely. Load it with whatever you want and put like a cork topper on there or uh, foam. Like I've even heard uh, people using pool noodle foam. Um, real cheap. Awesome to reload. The only uh, hold back right now is those wads. I think they're maybe four bucks a piece because it's a lot of time for Scott to machine those. Um, material's not that expensive, but the machine time, the labor is just prohibitive. So. I'm working on that. I had a couple guys working on it with me, and we're still trying to figure it out. Took a break from it, but um, I think that if that's something you guys like to see, let me know in the comments. Uh, it'd probably help Scott sell more of these shells. They're not uh, too outrageous. He makes a lot of other more expensive shells that are really cool, beehive shells. He makes one that shoots four, um, 410 shot shells at once. Just really cool stuff. So just quick overview. Hope you guys like it. Um, I appreciate all the new subscribers this month. I think I've got like a hundred more. Um, all the comments are great. Keep them coming. I love answering your questions and uh, hearing your ideas. So I'll catch you next time. Stay tuned for some more coming real soon.